Hello and welcome to this tutorial and in this tutorial we'll be going to learn something about service. So services are basically some processes which are going to run in your Android application but they are going to run in the background and the user won't be able to see the execution of a service. So a basic Android app consists of an activity and the activity is nothing but the layout screen and whenever, and whenever a user interacts with the activity something happens. So a service is similar to an Android activity, it is also a process but the thing is that it is going to run in the background and the user won't be able to interact with it or the user won't be able to see that a particular service is running. Now in order to understand services in a much more better way, we consider an example of a messaging app. So let's say you want to develop a messenger application which allows user to send messages to each other. Now let's say uh, whenever a message arrives you want to send a notification to the user that you have received a message. So for that purpose let's say you create a simple code which is going to run in the background and it is going to keep listening to the incoming messages. And when a message arrives, it is going to send the notification to the user that your message has arrived. Now as this piece of code for notification is going to run in the background, the user won't be able to see that this piece of code is actually running in the background. So basically, the processes which run in the background are nothing but the services. Now in this tutorial we are going to create a basic service which is going to run in the background and it is not going to affect the original UI or the original activity. So basically you could, you could interact with your application, you could switch between activities but you won't be able to notice that a particular service is running in the background. Now this tutorial might sound a bit confusing and that is because to some extent it is but the thing is that the services are extremely important while creating complex applications and that is because when you design complex applications for Android, you will be needing these services so as to run many processes in the background which needs to be hidden from the user. So now let's go ahead and create a service. So what I have done is that I have pulled out the previous project which is the intent application which we have created in the previous few tutorials. So make sure that you have this open. And the next thing which we are going to do is that we are going to add a new service to this. So in this tutorial we will be learning the intent services. So in order to add an intent service to your application, you simply go to this app folder right here. Then you go inside the Java folder and inside the first folder which has your main activity. And we create a new class here. So we simply right click on it, go to new, select Java class. And now let's name this class as, let's say my intent service then click ok and as you could see we have our class ready with us now let's go ahead and delete this comment now once you have this class with you you extend this class to intent service as we are and that is because we are basically creating the intent service so we type extends intent service and once you have this, as you could see, it is going to show you an error and that is because we must have a constructor inside it. So let's go ahead and add a constructor to it. So in order to add a constructor to this, we use code completion. So we press alter, insert, then click on this constructor and it is automatically going to create a constructor for us. Now inside the super right here, we pass in the class name which we are using. So in here we pass in the class name which is my intent service now once this is done we add a overrided method to it so again we use code completion we click we press alter insert and we go to override methods and the method which we want to add is the on handle intent so we type on handle intent and as you could see the method is automatically going to get added for us and one more thing which you need to remember as this is a constructor we need to pass in a blank parameter right here so we simply delete this now once you have this on handle method we are basically going to type in the code which we want to execute inside this on handle method but before that we are going to need to create a log message so we go right here 
and we create a log message so we type private static final then we create a string we name it as tag equals and we specify the package name here so our package name is this right here com dot example dot application dot intent application so whatever your package name is you simply copy this and paste it over here now once you have the package name copied your we are done with creating the tag so once we have the tag we go inside the on handle intent and this is basically going to handle the intent for us so we simply want to print out the log message so as to identify that this code inside this on handle has been executed so we type in log dot i and then to this we pass in some parameters so the first parameter is going to be the tag which we have created there then we give comma and then we display the message like let's say the service has started now once you have this code with you the next thing which you will need to do is that you need to make some changes to this manifest right here so you simply go into the manifest and select this android manifest.xml and you simply go right here in between this activity and application tag and we need to add an intent service right in between it and we have to mention the intent service in between these two tags in the android.manifest so that the manifest understands that we are going to execute the intent service so we simply go and give a tag which is called as service and the name of the service is going to be the name of the java class which we have created here and it is going to be displayed here so we simply click on it or press enter and it is going to add the service name for us so now the next thing which we do is that we close this tag now we simply save the code and the next thing which we need to do is that we go to the first activity or the main activity dot java which is our main activity and then we go inside the on create which is right here and we need to create an intent over here so we type intent we name it as let's say intent then we type this equals new intent and to this we pass the first parameter as this and that is because we will be dealing with this object or this class then we type in the name of our intent service so that would be my intent service and then finally we give a dot operator and type in class specifying that this is a class now once this intent is set up the next thing which we need to do is that we need to start the service so in order to start the service we type in start service and to this we are going to pass in the intent which we want to start so we pass on the intent which we have created right now so we type intent and this is going to start the intent for us now one more thing which i need to mention is that uh, if your package name exceeds something like 21 or 23 characters it is actually going to show you an error and also it was going and it was also showing me an error so in order to fix that uh, what you do is that you simply go into this analyze right here and as you could see there is an option which is called as inspect code so you simply click on this option and it is going to pop up a small window for us so inside this window under the inspection profile you simply have a button right here so we simply click this button and in the search bar you need to type in log so when you search for log you have multiple options over here so as you could see that there is option which is called as too long log tags so my option was previously checked right over here so it used to give me an error whenever i tried to run my application and that is because this thing right here is going to prevent the use of too long tags so if your application name exceeds 23 characters you make sure that it is unchecked just like me so once this is done we are good to go so we click ok and now the next thing which we do is that we simply execute our application on the emulator so as you could see our application is up and running and the next thing which we need to do is that as we need to monitor the process which is going on in the background that is the service so as you could see in this console right here in the log cat it is going to display the each and every message which is going to come in but the thing is that we need to filter out the message and we only want the message which we want to look at so in order to do that we simply go here 
and we copy the string tag which is nothing but com.example.application so we simply copy it and go over here and we edit filter configuration and we create a new filter let's name it as my filter and then we add the log tag as the package name and then when we click ok as you could see it is going it is only going to show us the messages which are associated with this tag right here so as you could see we could notice that it is going to display the message that the service has started and this is the same message which we have passed in our main intent service dot java code so as you could see this was our message and it has displayed the same message over here that means that the code inside the on handle intent has been successfully executed so basically we are successful in creating the service and as you could see the service has now started and if, so if we interact with the application it is not going to affect the service and the service is going to get executed in the background without the user knowing anything about the service so that's it for this tutorial and i hope you guys understood what are services why they are used and how we could create a basic service or a basic intent service in an android application so thank you very much for watching this tutorial and i'll see you guys in the next tutorial thank you